Good evening, everyone. In this video tonight, let's ask Lenamar cards. When will this person contact you? Uh, what's happening between you? Why are they not contact you? When will they contact you? And what's the advice for you? How can you make them contact you? So, I have five different Lenamar card decks here. Number one, two, three, four, and five. If you'd like to have this reading, Please think of a person or persons and choose your deck. And take your time, please. Okay, have you chosen your deck? So let's start then with our deck number one. Our deck number one. When, uh, let's see, what? why are they not contacting? What's happening between you two? Let's see. Well, I'm seeing here a separation, perhaps, or long-distance relationship. Uh, for me, it seems that there has been, like, a move. Well, you can see two roads, so you went on a different path. Both of you, your progress that was initially to happen, it took a while to happen and there's you know mountain in the middle it might be a big obstacle um, basically some outside uh, circumstances beyond your control uh, that make it difficult to meet let's see the, these two cards can also talk about some family issue pregnancy let's say tradition family thing let's say that person has some family issue and because of that uh, the contact is not happening and there is um, also the clouds it can be that uh, the, you cannot see the situation clearly what's happening there is a total confusion maybe you see it the other way around you know the situation like it's not the way you imagine this relationship it's not the way you imagine the, the truth and um uh, can be that this mountain, this obstacle making you very kind of confused and unclear. Like, should I wait for this person? Should I not wait? It's totally no clue, you know, because it's foggy, you cannot see anything. And we have the roads. So, roads is um, when will they contact you? It's, it's not a bad card, actually, but it still talks that it's long term, long distance, or like you know, uh, you're in different places or something like that. So, okay, let's uh, see. When will they contact you? Will they contact you this week? Because we're seeing here, um, you know, it depends how long were you separated. It depends what is this uh, situation here. Is it... Um, like a long distance relationship is it a long uh, past relationship is it a, a person who is an ex is it a person who has a family something along those lines so let's see will they contact you this week this is a timeless reading so seven days from now will they contact you this week so we have this man if you're asking about the man really busy with his work, really busy with his business, trying to fulfill some uh, promises and some like a contract, you know, business contract. So if this contract will allow them, they will. And when the ring is there, I think, um, yes, they will, they might, if they promise that, you know, to contact this week. Will they contact you this month? Um, this month, 
Yes, they will contact you this month or maybe they will come themselves to you. Maybe with work or, or, or something like that. But the flowers is like good surprise, good news. So I'm thinking although you might be separated or something happened, uh, maybe they traveled somewhere with work and maybe they will contact you um, at the end of this week. Let's see, the seventh, seventh day. Or maybe they will you know, contact you in this month or maybe they will come because you have a very happy surprise from far away. Okay. So what is the advice for you regarding this person about them not replying, not contacting, not meeting? Okay, letter, stars, house. Um... Well here, um, well here I'm feeling to be like a house, to be very, you kind of hope for the letter. This is the letter yeah, that you want. This is the communication. This is the um, how to see the text. And it can also be thinking about that person. So it's a like, telepathic message. Also stars is hope as well, you know, as uh, electronic communications. But basically, I'm getting to be like this house, to be very grounded and uh, don't doubt this person. If they promise, they will call or text or something. There might be something from outside that's holding them. Um, so maybe you'll receive it in the house. Maybe it's important to stay in the house also. Sometimes it can be literal. Sometimes it can just mean... Stay close to, be like a house, you know, be firm, be grounded, don't go here and there, trust that person and wait for that message. That's it. Okay, this was our reading number one. Let's move on to our reading number two. This is our reading number two, deck number two. The question is, let's uh, first have a look at what's happening between you two. What's happening between you two? Okay, so uh, what's happening between you two? Well, I'm getting pretty good cards as well. This is uh, happy feelings, as if you've met, um, you have good memories about this person. Uh, it's light, it's kind of positive, and there is like a little bit of romance maybe, uh, a little bit of lightness, flirt, uh, a chance meeting. Good feelings basically surrounding the memory of that person. And I'm getting more less action and more emotional feelings with the moon it's still more like thoughts emotions but they're very stable they are very true you know these emotions and feelings so you know i don't know the, the mice you know and sun what's happening between you two these cards can talk about um, a work situation yeah a work situation, that work situation is involved, like, especially the, um, if it's a hard work, like la manual labor type of work, it can be that that sort of situation is involved. Maybe you met at work, maybe you work, maybe, you know, there is this element. And the sun card here for me, it can be impatience here you know because impatience is like mice they are eating you eating at you so it can be in a way that everything is going fine but you're impatient you want to know faster you know when will they contact and here the cards are showing kind of the good cards yeah um everything is going fine uh everything is clear everything is okay maybe it's more fine at work as well because 
like I'm not getting a very um, the card that would like a person card or action card here it's more like des describing cards mood cards emotional cards yeah so let's say it's so happy to us that you're so impatient to meet them and uh, and I can't get out of my mind that there's like work situation um, related here look heart fell out well it can be being in love maybe because smiles also it can be talking about uh, when, about love sickness and you know that feeling when you can't wait to meet that person it's kind of making you feverish even with joy so let's see when will they contact you will they contact you this week uh i don't think so we have a card that is um okay again Mm, now, either one person, one of you is undecided. Let's see, the female is undecided. Uh, still to contact or not to contact. Uh, but there is some hope, some thinking, some hoping going on. So if it's a female, I think she might still be thinking, so she, she will not contact. If it's a male, um, I think also, basically, they will not contact. I'm not just I'm not seeing that. What about uh, month, the month? Will they contact you in a month? Look, no. Uh, will they contact you in three months? Hmm, these are, uh, these are better cards. Um, but still, it feels like long distance. They might, you know, through work, with work, uh, about work, through some person who they work with. It can be that sort of situation after three months that indirectly you might be contacted by this person. What takes so long? Definitely work and business, I'm getting busy so busy with work busy building their business um so much of just work their life is work probably they wake up early go to work and come back very late and uh, it's like so much tension and regularity routine professionalism skill and business they want to expand this they want to like have their own business it's not enough for them to, to just be employed here so i think with this routine it can be that uh it's taking up their mind and they're not thinking about love really uh, love right now no just don't have energy maybe Okay, and what is advice for you regarding this person? How can you help them contact you sooner? We have a child again. Well, well maybe uh, there is someone new you might meet. Of course, we cannot force people to do things. But here we are hopeful cards of change and new things coming into your life. Uh, maybe something else good will happen that will distract you from this waiting. Um, maybe there will be some surprise unexpected about uh, something pleasant. Maybe it's about children. Um, Maybe like they will show up unexpectedly or um, there's some sort of like expect for the news, expect for the things to change. Something will come to you that will basically help you with this weight and with this anguish or something like that. So, yeah, this was our reading number two. And uh, let's move on to our reading number three now.
our deck number three. It's um, um, what's the name? Game of Hope, Lenamar. Yeah. Okay, we have a tree. Tree can mean that you know this person for a very long time. It can mean that maybe they haven't contacted you in a few years. You know, because tree is like a very long time. So, so yeah, it's just a hint. So let's see what's happening between you again. The past separation, physical separation. Why haven't they? I mean, what's happening between you two? In every reading, we have paths. So interesting. Okay, here maybe we have some sort of transfer because of work. Because we have a work card, responsibility card, and a travel. So perhaps the tower represents like an office or school or university and the paths uh, can talk about, um, you know, that it has been changed, it has been shifted, it has been moved to another place or there are two offices or two places. And maybe you don't know where that person is, you know, the book is kind of also a mystery, but it's also like projects, it's also bookkeeping, it's also books and things like that, education. So maybe um, it's a secret for you where they are, what are they doing, you know, it's all surrounded in secrets. Mm. So if it's about to work... It can be, uh, the cross can talk about responsibilities and trying to complete their responsibilities. And uh, I think the ship here talks about, again, long distance relationship, distance between the two people, especially when we have this card as well. Mm. So, yeah. That sort of situation. Now let's have a look. When will they contact you? Will you contact you in a week? So here we have clouds in the end. And um, basically I don't think so. I don't think they will contact this week. Because we have again... Either some sort of indecision or stress or children worries about children because of the child they, they cannot possibly contact that sort of situation. Now let's have a look. Will they contact you in one month? Yeah, I think so. It, they will contact you in one month because... We have a mountain again blocking this dog. It's like they want to contact, but there is a problem. And but the key is, is talking about solutions. So I hope that if they are able to solve this problem, then they will contact. What is this problem about? So it's about the communication itself. It can be. Um, they cannot. I mean, they cannot talk, they have to wait, you know, something with voice, something with uh, the communication letters themselves, some technical problem, maybe they cannot physically contact, or it's been a while and they forgot the number or address or something, so they would, but if they could, you know, they would if they could, that sort of situation. Okay, so what is the advice for you regarding this person? I have a garden. Beer and sun. I think it says you should, you could meet them in a public place. Uh, through work, through authorities, through other people. Uh, they are visible in a public place and it will be easy to meet them, not privately, not 
personally, but through public, openly, publicly, that sort of thing. Because they might be a very famous person here, they might be known, they might be somewhere like a higher post, but not necessarily. Um, but like, you know, the place where they hang around, where they work, uh, so maybe there are other people as well. But still, if you really want to meet them, you can meet them there. Other than that, the cards are positive. I think they um, tell you you can see them easily. They're available, approachable, and also important. I'm feeling like a politician or or just a very um, a person, predictable person, yeah. So you can easily meet them. You can easily maybe find them because they're known. Okay, so let's move on to our reading number four. This is our deck number four. Let's see what's happening between you and this person. Why are they not contacting? What's what's happening? Well, here I'm getting again. It's been a long time. Tradition, culture, countries, you know, family, that sort of thing. And nevertheless, it might be like, although they don't contact you, they're kind of there. Because uh, your relationship with this person might be karmic with a tree card. That means you cannot escape it. You're meant to hang, to live somewhere together, to to coexist in, in, a, in the same physical environment. So I'm getting that there is some sort of stability with your relationship. And like you know them for a while. It's been destined. And, but it's kind of stuck in that point. It's not, nothing else is happening apart from that stuckness together. So the clouds show, like, again, completely not sure what will happen. Uh, no clue, you know, um, what will come out of that. And the star card in the end, especially in this deck, it it looks like a family card. Kids, their nest, their house, their family, their provider personality. You know where they have to provide. It doesn't matter their mother or father. So think that um, maybe it's stuck because of the family that they have. Uh, and we have this kind of family coming in so either your family or their family and maybe they're focusing on that part the most okay let's see um when is the most likely that they will contact you it can be about love it can be about work it doesn't matter when will they contact you is it this week Well, I don't think so. I think here they are either working or they are resting somewhere or they are doing their stuff, but they're not in a communication mood here. Yeah, now will they contact you in a month? Yeah, in a month it can be that they will either come to visit or contact you. For because of work, like they come to work for you, or you will go to work for them or with them, and then you will have a conversation like a brief conversation about work professional. What is the advice for you regarding this person? How can you go about this waiting? I think it says to move on. Mm, it can talk about uh, money being the issue here. Maybe one person is richer, maybe one person is poorer, maybe the money is important in some way, business, money, financial situation. Um, some sort of freedom, 
um, is blocked, uh, something is not going quite right, uh, and the ship can mean, of course, that move on. Don't don't wait. Okay, okay. So this was our reading number four. Now let's move on to reading number five. <clears throat> Okay, so let's have a look at our reading number five now. We have sky a scythe card falling out. This card talks about the possibility that this relationship has been cut off somehow. Let's have a look. What's happening between you? What's happening with your communication? Why are they not contacting? Have a mountain, clever, coffin, sun, and clouds, clouds everywhere today. So for this choice, hmm. I'm getting a very heavy relationship, heavy uh, relationship here with mountains. So it's like in the beginning already when it started, it was very difficult to keep a contact with each other. Maybe the contact was never there. Uh, no communication. Because it talks about walls, it talks about blockage, it talks about isolation. isolation. Maybe there was a brief uh, moment that there was communication, though, like, for a very short period of time. Uh, perhaps you and that person talked and then suddenly died out again, this relationship. We have coffin. And then we have um, the sun card that talks about you understanding the situation, you knowing that it's ended, this relationship you know, I'm um, having in mind the sky card that fell, also the coffin. So perhaps it symbolizes your understanding that it's over in a way. But but still, you cannot. You keep thinking. You know, you keep doubting it. You know that maybe, maybe this is not over. Maybe they will still contact me. So you know, the the clouds is basically. Our doubts are not inability to see clearly, so like a moon card in tarot. So it can be that sort of situation that, yeah. <clears throat> now let's see. Is it possible still that they will contact you in a week? Will they contact you? I would say, yeah, will they contact you in a week? Let's just see. Paths, sky, uh, stork, sorry, and letter. Well, it shows yes, it, it, they will contact you in a week for some reason. Maybe you will meet somehow, maybe some change will happen, but it seems like they will contact you in a week. Okay, how will they contact you? Will it be about work? Will it be. What is the... Okay, we have dog mice and snake. Yeah, I guess this is because of work more. Uh, like a service, helping out, um, some promises, their contract, work, <clears throat> some goal, um, they want something to complete, to do, so they might call. What is the advice for you regarding this person? What is the advice for you regarding this person? Well, the advice is kind of good that after a long time they will come into your life, they will show up, and they will visit or there will be news about this person, yeah? So we see like this anchor and tree. It talks about for a while the situation was like this. 
like like very rooted but the message will come news will come so I guess hmm, and we're having lots of maybe uh, on Monday because the moon card maybe on Monday they will contact you maybe it will be uh, about some money or some business so basically we're gonna have them coming with a rider card and I think you should expect them that sort of situation okay thank you for watching this video I hope that I answered your question and I hope that the person you are wanting to contact you they will contact you and everything will be fine and okay. Okay, thank you for watching this video again. Have a wonderful night and have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.